hello my wonderful people welcome back to spice channel tv thank you for always coming out here if you're joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you now my country people recently the governor of river state sim fubara sent a stare warning to those disrespecting him that they've already dug their pit hole and they will surely fall into their pit yes they will fall inside their pit this is a stare warning to uh nyesong wike his loyalist the local government chairman who have been showing him huge disrespect yes it is it is well known that some local government chairmen in river state have been you know uh disrespecting uh the governor of the state sim fubara due to their political father's influence yes on wiki i can remember uh, this happened a few months back a local government chairman had you know uh insulted fubara challenging his leadership on behalf of Nyeson Wiki, praising Nyeson Wiki instead of the governor. And he later apologized, but I mean, he had already shown disrespect for the governor. And this would pave way for more disrespect to come in. And mind you, Fubara is the governor of the state, not Nyeson Wiki. So they should note that is why Fubara has sent a stern warning. This has sounded like a note of warning to those he claimed that disrespecting him as the governor of the state. Now, Fubara made a declaration on Thursday while speaking at a compre at a uh, commissioning, I beg your pardon, of a comprehensive primary health center in Udoni, Oba, Egwema, local government area of the state, which was built and donated to the state government by the former governor, Peter Odili. He added that those disrespecting his government had dug their pit and would soon fall into it. Although Governor Fubara did not really mention the name of his predecessor, Nyeson Wike, whom the two of them have fallen out after, you know, getting into a feud over the control of River State's political structure. And the feud between Wike and Fubara had deteriorated to the extent of prompting an intervention by President Bola Tinibu, who came uh, and brought about a controversial peace deal between the both of them. After a seat of the 27 pro Wiki lawmakers in River State House of Assembly were declared vacant following their defection to the APC, and the feud began last October when the pro Wiki lawmakers initiated an impeachment move against the governor, a development that resulted in the bombing of a section of the River State House of Assembly complex and which led to its subsequent demolition by the River State government. Although Fubara recently berated some local government chairman in the state for refusing to participate in the state government activities because their loyalty lies elsewhere. And he was quite surprised that he saw some local government chairman of, of, of uh, Ogba, Egbima and Nduni at the event but noted that those that you know uh, seeks to disrespect him are digging their grave and they will fall into the pit that they are digging because at this point we all know that these guys are loyal to nyeson wiki and politics is about loyalty once you are not loyal to your political godfather they tend to kick you out let's take for instance what's happening in a do state between Philip Shaibo and Governor Godwin Obaseke and we don't see any reconciliation in the nearest future because this feud brought about the impeachment of Philip Shaibo because of his uh, governorship ambition against that of his godfather. So it's obvious that Philip Shaibo was not loyal and hence the governor Godwin Obaseke in his capacity as the governor kicked him out. And now he has been impeached. So, moving on to River State, Fubara is telling this local government chairman that those of them that are refusing to participate 
in the state government activities because their loyalty lies elsewhere, it seems that they are only doing themselves because at the end of the day, they will end up regretting it and it would affect them more than it would affect him. There is no gain for being disloyal to the governor. There is no gain for disrespecting the governor. So why not respect the governor, pledge your loyalty to the governor, and be on a safe place? So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? How ever Nigerians have reacted? Good. You are the governor. You have all executive powers of the state. Utilize it against any man who disrespects you and river state at large. In life, you don't need to help some persons to grow. That is someone that cannot even campaign for him. Well, this life, no balance. The governor has spoken. Action speaks louder than words. One thing about politics is the moment a little crack occurs in loyalty and understanding, it would be almost impossible to fix the situation. The crack keeps getting worse. Let's take, for instance, the late Akere Dolu and his deputy, Fubara and Wike or Basiki uh, Shaibu. Nice one, Mr. Governor. The best governor at the moment after Alex Oti. Okay? This is how people were pushing Amabode then. This is politics. It is not an emotional game. Okay, guys. These are reactions from Nigerians. Well, my country people, the governor has spoken and it's only a matter of time before uh sim fubara would take some drastic actions against those that have been disrespecting him in the states most especially the local government chairman those of them that are very loyal to nyeson wiki you see this uh, issue of politics and loyalty you know they are like two faces of a coin you cannot venture into politics without being loyal to your political godfather. If you if you choose to be disloyal, then you start having problems with your godfather. And that's how we've been seeing this cycle in our Nigerian politics, which has really caused a lot of troubles between two persons that, you know, were close. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Fubara has sent a stare warning to Nyeson Wike's loyalist the local government chairman in River State, those that are disrespecting him, those that are plotting against him, even the wiki lawmakers, that they should be very, very careful not to drag themselves into trouble. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section. Thank you.